Yeah, yeah, what up, what up? Big salute to everybody that's tuning in to the channel. My man Swamp. Shout out to Swamp, man. Swamp, I wish you were doing this maybe like during the summer, man. Like I see, I see like now it's kind of too late, bro. We like almost a week going to New Year. Well, actually, you know, maybe you trying to set the tone for 2024. Now, there's been a huge dis discussion going on on Twitter. Is Swamp a top tier? Do you consider Swamp a top tier? Me, personally, I do not consider Swamp a top tier. I consider Swamp a mid-tier. Now, I will say this. His career, 2022, he was definitely headed in that direction of being a top tier. With the Tay Rock performance, the Rum Nitty performance, even the JC performance. But he actually stumbled and fucked up the bag and lost the tournament. But he was right there. He made it, and, and I give him a lot of points for making it to that finish line. And I felt like, yo, for him to have such a phenomenal year, like him, is, him and Shug were pretty much in the conversations for champion of the year. You know what I'm saying? And I think some, I think who, uh, Nitty just, you know, kind of blew past him. But I feel like he had all the momentum in 2022 to go into 2023 and really dominate you know really dominate and really solidify like yo i'm here i'm here i'm swamp i'm not playing no games i feel like 2023 was a downhill for swamp it was a downhill you know i'm trying to remember off the top of my head I, he didn't have many battles in the beginning of the year he only had maybe like two or three i know he was supposed to battle Rosenberg Raw on the trenches. We saw how that panned out. They were trying to get the Verb battle locked in. URL, for some reason, they felt either Verb wanted too much or the battle just wasn't worth it at the time, and they just couldn't book it. So Swamp pretty much sat for like two, three months. We did not see him for like the whole summer. You know what I mean? He came back. He came and he, uh, I think he had like a couple small battles. I think he battled like overseas. He battled somebody overseas and he had like a battle like on a small league. But since then, you know, he battled Chef Trez. I think they had a really great battle. That was a great, great fucking battle. Great battle. Um, he battled Reed Dollars in a one round, and we haven't seen that footage. I don't think that's probably going to drop till probably after the new year. But it was a one rounder. And other than that, that's all he had. So a lot of his momentum that he had in 2022, it was pretty much taken from him. Because he didn't, he wasn't active. He didn't really do anything. Had he not, like, say he didn't get, you know, verb, right? He could have took, like, I don't know if he battled Fonz. He could took, like, a Fonz or a Danny Myers. You know what I mean? And just had, like, a really great showing. That would have been good. And then to make all matters worse for me, he battles Lou Castro and Homecoming. Mind you, last year he battled Arsenal. Even though it was an underwhelming battle, I had him winning the battle. He had an overall better performance than Arsenal. This year, he he volunteers to you all rail that he wants to battle Lou Castro of all the names. So you want to battle a mid-tier like Lou, and you trying to convince me that you're top tier. Why the fuck would you battle down instead of battling up? Battle Fonz. Battle Danny. Danny ain't had no plate the whole year. I mean, he had what? LaFleur Soul or who did he battle? I think LaFleur Soul. But he, after the trenches shit, he ain't really had nobody. You could have battled him. Now I get it. That's a dangerous battle, but it's a very competitive battle. Shit, Rum Nitty was a dangerous battle. JC was a dangerous Tay Rock was a dangerous battle. If you could survive them niggas, you could survive Danny Myers. You know what I mean? So I felt like that. I felt like you made a lot of bad decisions, as far as okay, if you couldn't get the verb battle, there was other names I felt like you could have chose that would have made sense. Swamp, had you would have took maybe a bigger name than Lou Castro and had a dominating performance, not had the slip ups. You know what I'm saying? Because I had you losing because of the the stumbles, but. Had you would have had a dominant performance, I think you definitely could have made the argument to be top tier. Absolutely. But I don't see you top tier, Swamp. I feel like now you having the underwhelming 2023, I felt like you're back at zero again. You got to kind of like battle maybe two, three top tiers 
in 2024 or get get uh, a Mount Rushmore, if you can get a verb or something like that or goods, that's another name. I, if you would have had goods instead of Lou at homecoming, <laughs> niggas, I, I couldn't, I could never debate if you were a top tier or not. Just the fact that you getting goods, especially goods coming off the calico battle with all that momentum, it would have made sense. But I feel like I don't know if you have a manager. You, you you're not making moves that justifies you to be a top tier, in my personal opinion. That's just for me. You know what I mean? I had a really interesting debate with the boss on Twitter about it. And then I see the conversation just spreading, you know, through verb and the spaces. And he's asking the boss, like, okay, if you had to pick 15 battlers to defend the country or defend the world, who would you pick? And she's naming, you know, New Jersey twerk. She's naming Sue Sir. She's naming DNA. She's naming all these names. Rum Nitty, Geechee Gotti. She's getting to like number 10, 12. She ain't named Swamp. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, I'm not going to name Swamp. And it's like, well, if, it's, if you ain't naming Swamp within like the 15 or even the top 20, he's not top 10. He's not. Now, Swamp is fire. I don't want this a blog to be where I'm down the swamp i'm just giving my overall assessment of him and i felt like with the with the stumbles and big big moments it really hurts your stock it really does had you not had those slip ups and won that jc battle and won the tournament bro you definitely would have been top tier you beat all these names you beat tay rock or already we had a debatable with tay rock you know what I'm saying? I think you definitely could have got the verb battle because I feel like the anticipation would have definitely been there. It would have made sense for URL to make that gamble. But when you got slip ups and you're not really consistent, that's the thing. I need consistency. I need to see a full two years or a full year of you battling big names and, and really showing up and having outstanding. Because I feel like the material you don't you don't miss. You always come with fire material, but I need you to get through the material clean. And win the battles. Give me a full year. A full year. And then I can make the argument. Because I, I I can't take away what you did in 2022. I never I never take away from that. I never do. But I, I cannot, I cannot erase what you what you didn't do in 2023. I need to see a, a pattern of consistency throughout the months, throughout the years of you battling up, battling up, winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to see that for me to, to crown you the next level as a top tier. You know, that's just my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? I see he's saying he wants $20,000 to battle Verb. Any league wants to wants to set it up, he's he's willing to do it. He just wants $20,000. Now, had you would have did this maybe early in the year, maybe with the RBE, with the with the A-Ward, maybe you could have got it. Maybe, hell, maybe you could have got on the rooftop with Mickey, instead of Mickey Fax, could have got you and Verb. But I don't know, man. I think you're making decisions a little too late. I think 2024, you need to really sit down and map out a plan of how you're going to execute to get yourself back into the top, top spotlight. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you definitely can get there. You just got to make some better choices when it comes to matchups and, 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 and timing wise as well. You know, and don't be afraid to bet on yourself, man. Don't be afraid to bet on yourself. But let me know what y'all think. Honestly, in, in the comment section, is Swamp a top tier or mid tier? I don't think he's low tier. He's definitely not low tier. My personal opinion, mid tier. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love. It's your boy, Acito. I'm out of here. Peace.